Well, you know, what, what, what has happened now is that the UPND have just realized that they can get a commission from each and every transaction. If the UPND wanted to reduce the cost of fuel or the cost of electricity, we would have seen it the moment they got into government. But what we saw was the opposite. The UPND, even if oil at the international market goes down, they still increase. And you remember, when the oil prices on the international market dropped, Zambia had increased, Zambia was busy increasing. And the question is, why would they want to accuse the situation in Ukraine, uh, or why would they want to lie about the situation in Ukraine as the reason why everything is not going as planned? The difference between what is going on in Ukraine and what is going on in Zambia is that the UPND used a lot of propaganda, and they are used to propaganda. They, they are used to people clapping when they've done nothing. But now, because the people are feeling the pinch, it's really difficult for people to clap. And we can even assure them that the pace at which they are going, come 2026, they will lose the election before lunchtime. Right now, there is no political will to mitigate the suffering of Zambians. There is no political will to make the people of Zambia appreciate that there's a new government, because this new government just came in and said, oh, we're going to borrow excessively, number one. Two, we're going to the IMF to go and get tough you know, economic conditions. Three, we're going to remove subsidies and increase. So it is them that don't know what they're trying to do, that they're putting the country in bad shape. Zambia has no contract with Ukraine, not even Russia. Zambia gets its oil from the Middle East, Zambia gets its oil from Saudi Arabia. There's no oil in Saudi Arabia. And the contracts that Zambia signed with, uh, with Saudi Arabia have not been cancelled because of the war. So it's a lie. They want to use the war to hide from there in the future.